Look at this man. He has caused a lot of pain. A lot of discussion are uh, ongoing. People are talking. <laughs> Somebody say <laughs> it is not only not a Muslim. <laughs> Somebody say Simon William Ifan Ifan uh, more. Master Simon, it is not only Northern Muslim, but all Muslims will prefer a Sharia Nigeria. If not, why are they not speaking against the fact that Northern Nigeria operates under Sharia law? <laughs> Thank you very much. If you are saying the truth, but let us start from the Northern Nigeria first. We know how to bend, we know how we are going to bend the crayfish, you know, when it comes to us. Uh -huh. We know how to bend them. We know that they are not real. We know that they are not genuine. Because uh, even, even the Nottana, would, if they are killing their friends, they are going to kill them. You know, so we are not, uh, we, they don't believe, they don't uh, regard them as genuine Muslims. So let us deal with them from the North first. Uh, when we come to our house, we know how to handle them. Uh -huh. But they are not talking, of course, because they, they are deceiving themselves, thinking that you know, they are the same with other people. But what I'm saying is the truth. You know, they will be comfortable in a Sharia Nigeria than in a secular Nigeria. So, and that is the reason why they can never fight against those fighting for fighting you, for example. When you look at this uh, this uh, statement from uh, whatever uh, Mayete Allah, Abba Kaere, Mayete Allah accuses FBI of conniving with Southern Nigeria. <laughs> Did you see that? Mayete Allah accused FBI of conniving with Southern Nigeria. You see? Every little thing, every little thing in Nigeria, they turn it to the uh, uh, Northern versus South. Yet, yet, they are the one telling you Nigeria must be one. But every little thing, they will, once you go against the North, they will now begin to defend their own. They, remember, they are not talking about Nigeria now. They are not saying FBI connive with Nigeria. They are not saying FBI connive with Nigeria government. No. FBI connive with Southern leaders. And in some report, they even say FBI, uh, FBI could not with IPOB. <laughs> I am telling you, they have come to say FBI could not with IPOB, but they will not say Nigeria. Look at it. Let me zoom it. Mayete Allah accuses FBI of conniving with certain leaders. Mark Ban, while reacting to the news of Abakaire involvement in a $1.1 million fraud, according to FBI, also condemned the Northern Elders Forum for keeping quiet. <laughs> Are you hearing that? They want to now incite the Northern Elders Forum you know, to go into North and South War. Abakaire, the Mayete Allah Cattle Breeders Association of Nigeria, McBan, has alleged that the Federal Bureau of Investigation in the United States connived with some Southern leaders to indict wanted police officer Abakaire as reported uh, on daily news. You see, now, what you don't know, what should surprise you now is that now you know. Now you know why no Mayete Allah has been killed in Biafra land or any part of Nigeria by police. Now you know why AK-47 carrying his men. Nobody has ever arrested them. But Abba Kaere was a super cop because he has become worse. <laughs> His title now is was was a super cop. <laughs> the super cop of Abakaire 
did not or have never seen the Fulani men under Meyete Allah who butcher and cut off heads. And all this while, Meyete Allah did not issue statement because they know who Abakaire is working for. When we say that Abakaire is an instrument of jihad hiding under police uniform, people don't believe it. So you have to now understand what is the interest of Meyete Allah. What is the interest? <laughs> what is the interest of Meyete Allah? When, uh, when um, um, uh, this man, uh, uh, Zach Saki, when Zach Saki was arrested, did you hear Meyete Allah issue statement? For how many years of Zach Saki, did you hear Meyete Allah issue statement? You will not. Because Ezazaki is not fighting for interests of Fulani, even though he's a Muslim. Of course, uh, he's a different Muslim than you know. You know the the war between Sunni and Shia. Ezazaki is a Shia Muslim, while Fulani are Sunni Muslim. But you did not see them condemning Muslim. So that is why I say those who say uh, those uh, those of you. Who say you are you are from northern southern Nigeria and uh, you are you are Muslim and all that? Even El Zazaki is not regarded as their own from the Sunni Muslim part, part in Nigeria. Allah, oh, do I thank you for your super chat, Simon? Donation to you on behalf of U.S. bound Robocop Abba Kairi. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, Allah, my brother from the south. South, uh, Southwest or do the one land. I appreciate you. And uh, of course, we are we have to be giving them fire because without the fire, they will pocket Abakaire and put him in the fridge in Nigeria. <laughs> they can go to any land, but because of this fire we are giving, because of this exposition for them to know how rotten the case is, they don't have no option. And they come and do like this. All of them will run away because you have destroyed the, the, the moral in them by burning their houses. Thank you, uh, Uchenna Agbahiwe, for your super chat. We appreciate you. Pierre Karata looking at himself in the mirror, saying, Thank for being you with the heart popping out of his eyes. Thank you very much for supporting the page. We appreciate you. Remember, if you are not watching through the Enter Biafra Channel 1, go and watch from there. Very, very, very important. Go and watch from there. We want you to be using our platform to watch our program. We want you to be using our platform to watch our program so that uh, we know that uh, it is not in vain. It is not in vain. Because any day they look for us, you look for us in YouTube, you don't see us, you know where to find us. So get yourself acquainted to this uh, Enter Biafra Channel 1 now before it is late. Now, did you see that? Okay. It didn't end here. I am coming. One moment. Let me also, before I go uh, further on the next uh, thing I'm going to pull out, I want to make this a special announcement. Uh, this special announcement on the uh, Eastern Security Network account, Eastern Security Network account that a lot of uh, uh, misinformation, a lot of, uh, 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 you know, a lot of talk and all that has, has been going on on social media. So there has been some kind of uh, error, typo error in uh, some of the uh, information shared. There has been some typo, some errors 
in some information here, but that is not to say that the account is fake. The account is not fake. And again, I am flashing the account on the screen. For those of you, because our ESN need the support, our ESN need the financial support to be able to carry out the, uh, you know, safeguarding our land and protecting our land from the Morandus Fulani and the killers, terrorists Fulani and uh, other people like Abba Kaires and all that. So our ESN need your support as always. Remember that uh, we have not done a fundraising for a while and the fundraising for ESN will start as soon as possible. Uh, a day, I think a date for the next fundraising has been set, which is this month. And uh, I will post the flyer also uh, to, you know, so that everybody will get ready for that fundraising. So the account you are looking at now is the updated uh, account, corrected account, and the errors or whatever has been corrected. And this is the ESN account worldwide, the account of ESN worldwide, the account of ESN, global account of ESN is what you are looking now. And then also, you can also make your donation through the uh, ipobusa.org uh, slash donate. The information is there. For those of you who will need it, you can make a screenshot of this, uh, of this uh, video and make a picture out of it, and then you can share it to those who need it. IPOB is not running a secret organization. IPOB is not a secret court. IPOB is not a criminal organization. IPOB is a legitimate, a legitimate uh, freedom, a legitimate uh, freedom fighting organization, and uh, a legitimate uh, free freedom fighting uh, movement that uh, that uh, you know is fighting for the. Uh, freedom of Biafra. Who is this person calling me on video? Why are you calling me on video when you see that I am doing a live program? All right. So having announced this, let us make it go viral for those who are confused on which account is genuine and which account is fake and which account is this and which account is that. Nobody in IPOB has flaunted any fake account. Nobody in IPOB has flaunted any fake account. These, um, these, uh, these, uh, this account here is genuinely approved by the, uh, by the, our leader, Mazi Namdikano, and uh, everybody will understand in due time that uh, this is the original and uh, there is no fake account anywhere. Nobody has flaunted fake account. It is just a misunderstanding, misinformation coming from some quarters and all that, but I believe it will be sorted out in due time. So uh, let me make it very clear again, nobody has floated any fake account. If uh, there has been some error in typo, if uh, there has been some typo error and all that, I have posted this account before, I've made this account uh, uh, public, on my broadcast earlier before now, and it is still the same account, and it is still original account approved by the indigenous people of Biafra, the leader of uh, indigenous people of Biafra, Mazin Ambikano. So, uh, uh, you know, on this note, you have to disregard anybody who comes to say that the account is fake, the account is not fake, it's not fake. And then also, um, uh, like I said, uh, anybody who said the account is fake, maybe is just, uh, like I said, misunderstanding or miscommunication or misinformation. The person do not have the, uh, have probably not been briefed uh, appropriately. And uh, by the time the person uh, is briefed appropriately, he will understand that it is not fake. And remember that uh, nothing come from me that will be fake, especially when it comes to uh, when it comes to IPOB and the Biafra uh, struggle. It is either I don't post it at all, uh, you know, so if you see something from me, it is never going to be fake. And even if uh, the information uh, is later on uh, found out to be wrong, I will also make, uh, make corrections on that. But this one is uh, not uh, something to make correction about. It is not fake account, it is real account. Thank you very much, uh, Chigozie, for uh, Chigozie uh, Ufomba, for your uh, super chat for supporting this page, we, we thank you. 
Remember also that it is very, very imperative that the issue of account of ESN account, it is not, remember, this is not about any account, any account, this is not a, like IPOB account or any, this is ESN account, ESN account. And uh, so anybody who want the best of ESN, anybody who want the welfare of ESN should know that we cannot play and we must not joke and we must not play any kind of uh, funny thing with the account when it comes to ESN because ESN has become the heart, the heart and the heartland of this uh, struggle. So we must not play with the uh, welfare and the equipment of ESN. It is very, very important and at the same time, very, very dangerous. So we are moving forward. I want to I want to bring to you very 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 important uh, video that we are going to uh, analyze this uh, afternoon. And why I am bringing this video is to let you understand how different Nigerians react to different things and for you to understand how you are never going to be in the same country with this nomadic people welcome welcome again and here we go take your time and listen own thing here so i think they should not take him to us let him just do our own thing here so i think it's better what, what is he going to do in the us eh? we don't, don't we have a judiciary here we have judiciary we have everything here at our disposal so we can we, we can we, we can do his own judgment here so you don't need to carry him to anywhere else. i think he should be now the person that just spoke now you know that black person, when you listen to that person, you find out that he's a Fulani. When you listen to this person now, you will understand that he is a Fulani. <laughs> Do you understand? He is a Fulani, and there is no way he is going to uh, support justice against a Fulani man. You see, there is no way he is going to support that justice. When justice is taking its course, you know, against a Fulani man, like Abakaire, like a criminal Abakaire, against a jihadist instrument, like Abakaire, there is no way they are going to support it. So I want you to listen to different opinions of Nigerians about what has happened, and you find out how the country have collapsed and shattered into different, uh, you know, uh, nations and of different opinions. I want everybody to listen and listen very attentively. So you don't need to carry him to anywhere else. I think he should be extradited to the U.S. to face the law there. Like every other person related to the issue of a uh, Bohu who is agitating for a sovereignty, Nandi Kano and Rorex, that they were extradited. He should equally be extradited to face the law in U.S. there. Now, you have just listened to a divided a divided uh, opinion remember this is not just an opinion this is the this is the representation uh, or you know this represent what nigeria is all about now you've just listened to opinion of a notana a fulani notana and then you have listened to opinion of a sawatana <laughs> the notana is that we have judiciary working judiciary because Tanko mohammed is the head and they know that they have put everything in place, including those who did not go to school, like this man, including those who did not go to school, they already know the reason why Tanko Mohammed is in judiciary, is the CG, the CGN. Now, we from the Southern Nigeria, we have already lost and lost our hope in Nigeria system. So everybody from Southern Nigeria, we want Abakaire to go to America. Why those from the Northern Nigeria don't want about to go to america that is how divided the country is and this is because the part of this the southern nigeria lost hope in the system of nigeria already
They know that Nigeria has collapsed. Why the Northern who control Nigeria and control the judiciary, they have very good confidence in the system of judiciary in Nigeria. So they are not worried that, uh, you know, they say Abba should not go to America. Now let us watch. Very, very interesting. This is very, very interesting. This is the exact reflection of what Nigeria has become, a collapsed and a failed state. Watch. Well, if you have the case to answer there, you should feel free. You should honor the invitation. He is all right having anything skeleton in his cupboard. I believe he's, he's a police officer, is a law enforcement you know, agent. He should honor the invitation you know, to, you know, uh, clear his integrity. Honest. Sorry, that was another Southerner. That was another Southerner, you know, when you look at them, the way they talk and they're thinking, you know where they come from. That was another Nathana. Now let us go to uh, another Southern. Now let us go to the Fulani for the same Fulani man. Honestly, what I'm seeing about Abba Kerry is just a consequence. You know, there are some cabals. <laughs> look at how this guy is looking at him. <laughs> look at how this guy is looking at him. And the invisible hands that they don't want this country to go further. So they see that his effort is been is, is been praised. So they want to use their own uh, power or their own conspiracy to just punish that man. So what I'm seeing in that thing, there are some people that are that, that are doing some atrocities in this country. So they don't want that man to continue. That is what I'm seeing about that thing. So although they, 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 they are trying to set him off, that is my own conclusion about that man. That is his own conclusion about that man. His own conclusion about that man is that uh, some people want to use that man to, to you know, uh, because uh, they, they are very, very bad people, so they want to use that man. Did you hear that? That is opinion, opinion of an average Northerner. And everybody from the North think like this. He said, this, this uh, fraud we are talking about, uh, Say Abakari sent account to Horse Puppy. Horse Puppy sent eight million, and who know other millions that Horse Puppy have sent? We did not know about. This man say is a conspiracy. Thank you very much, John Iwuji, for your super chat. We appreciate you. Thank for supporting this page. Now let us continue. It's a setup. Is a setup, and they should not take him to U.S. Let him just do our own thing here. Uh -huh. So I think it's better. What, what is he going to do in the U.S.? Uh -huh. eh? we don't don't we have a judiciary here? Yes. We have judiciary. We have everything here mm -hmm. at our disposal, so we can we, we can we, we can do his own judgment here. Uh -huh. So you don't need to carry him to anywhere else. Uh -huh. Well, um, <laughs> you see that? Let us hear another sound. If you ask my opinion, I would think that. See, the, the, the drama in this country is too much. Ah. So I, since the much public case was taken to the US, so if this matter also as it is trending now that is linked to him, maybe he should just move to the US and do the, the trial, whatever, over there. Personally, I've lost trust in this country, okay. or the government. So anything they are doing here. You see that? Every average Southerner have lost confidence in the country. They have lost trust, they have lost everything, and the country has collapsed. That is why it can never move forward. And let me tell you, on a daily basis, we are converting people on this platform. On a daily basis, thousands and thousands of people are being converted on different platforms. And not just we are converting them, we are giving them the reason to believe that Nigeria will never work again. And some of them are witness, live witness, that you know that it, it something has happened to them, they have seen things for themselves and all that, for them to come to believe what we are saying. Some of them think that, okay, let us give Nigeria a chance. Let us, you know, they have been giving Nigeria a chance and the thing we continue to say, continue to happen. So we are converting and the winning so every day. And what is what it means now is that an average Nigerian have lost hope in Nigeria. And that's why Nigeria has collapsed. Everything has collapsed. And Nigeria has become a failed state. I want you to listen to this man and other people. Uh, 
I will not say I'll be confident with it. Because he's the idea of police for crying out loud. And he wants the government also to test, to try him or do investigation. Everything they will find out would seemingly be covered up. So that's okay. what, that's what you're saying. So anything they will find out will seemingly be covered up. And that is exactly the what Nigeria is. Best way, the way that um much of this case was handled. So I think since it is linked, it should also be handled that way. That's just my own opinion. Well, to me, it's not good. And uh, secondly, I'm not a police officer, and people used to say about Kiari happened to be one of the best police we ever have. And you know, anything's coming, anybody can be implicated. It may be truth, it may not be truth. That's all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Nigeria should handle it and send the message back to SIB in US. Yeah, I feel so. Uh, since uh, he has been indicted over there, he should go there and free himself. If he if he feels that he has no case to answer, he, he has in, if he feels that his hands are clean, let him go there and clear his name. You understand? And make uh, the whole world know that he has no hand in in, in what he has been indicted for. That is what I'm saying. You understand? Yes, that's the way I look at it. And over here, you know, is I'm sorry to say, to get justice in Nigeria, I don't know, I don't know why we are finding it difficult to to set things straight. You understand me? Uh, when we see black, we are likely to say this is white. Mm. When everybody knows the truth. Because Nigeria breed criminals. That's why when you see white, you call it black. And when you see black, you call it white. Because uh, automatically, Nigeria breed criminals. Nigeria is a, a country uh, under fraud, you know, fraudulently formed. And that is the reason why it will continue to aid, it will continue to uh, breed criminals and until the country is dissolved. You understand? That is it. Favoring some individuals when they go into crime and uh, punishing some individuals which are not supposed to be punished so that is the way i look at it yes the way i look at things now the way things are going here if let him go there and free himself you understand and say and uh, clear his name you understand that's the way i look at it yes. We have had a lot of uh, investigations. When things happen, they say they are setting up panels. At the end of the day, people will not even get the results. That is why I feel that he should go there and clear his name. Yeah, you know, he's a good police officer. So with my own point of view, if he knows that what he did is not wrong, he should go to the U.S. and go and face the law there and prove himself. From what we heard in uh, social media, uh, FBI invited him. And I think it's a court in the you know order that it should be it should it should be it should come for you know interrogation. So it should it's a law enforcement you know uh, uh, agent officer. So he should honor the invitation and go and play his name and integrity. Uh, if you have nothing to hide in scoreboard, I believe you should go. No. Why it should not be as uh, US because. It is not the first stop. Yeah, it's not the first stop. Because taking it to the US, when we have Nigeria here that can handle the stuff, it's not really an advice uh, stuff to take it to the US. Can be handled here proper. And I want you to pay attention to those who have a very different view. You know. <laughs> I want you to take to take a very close look at those who have a different view, especially who have the same view with Fulani, with Fulani man. Look at them closely. You find out that they are not mentally balanced. <laughs> I'm, I am very serious. They are not mentally what balanced. Like this man talking now. Like this man talking now. When you look at him, you know he's not mentally balanced. There is another man also who wear the black uh, face mask. I'm gonna bring the. I'm gonna go back to him. You look at him, you know that 
he is also not mentally balanced because you can see their eyes you can see their look and uh, you, you know their face and all that you know that something is not all right so they are not thinking you know straight but but they uh, so they have the same mentality with the uh with the the the, the fulani with the, the fulani man and that's what i want you to what that's why i'm playing these all videos so that you would take a very closer look at people and their opinion you look at them look at their appearance you look at their body language and then you look you listen to their opinion and that shows you and tells you a lot about how somebody can look and how the brain can also sound you see you see a healthy person he would think very healthy and when you see a very sick person he would think very sick I want you to, to pay attention to what I've just said now. Let us go there. Because if we can if we can understand the issue at hand and thinking of how to amend this uh, country, you know, is a reason we handle such matter so that uh, uh, it can really start as a dictate, an example to other cases that are arising in the nation. No, it should be the U.S. U.S. Yeah, that's how, so that it can face the law in U.S. Yeah, because yeah, since them in uh, then the when the senior officers in Nigeria are involving in such crime like this, man, like it should be called to law. Yeah, that's how, so that it can face its charges. You know what I'm seeing, honestly speaking. You know there is uh, internal conspiracy. And there are these international consequences. So if you go there, the thing will be worse than the, the, than in our own country here. Uh, that is what I'm saying. <laughs> you know, he said, "Our man, full uh, man, say if he goes there, it will be worse. <laughs> if he goes there in America, it will be worse. So you better we want to manage it here. You want to manage it here in Nigeria, where Taku Muhammad is a <laughs> Al Malami. <laughs> Malami is in charge." You know, Johnny, would you thank you very much for your super chat? <laughs> Appreciate you. So you want to you want them to bring it to Nigeria, where he is going to have a, a very good uh, soft uh, landing. You see, that soft landing will continue to play, and that's the problem of Nigeria. Thank you, God bless, Mark, for your super chat. This is just the beginning. More is coming upon the zoo, Nigeria Waterloo. Upon Waterloo, must come upon the zoo for their evil against Biafra. Exactly, exactly. He say, he say, thank you very much for supporting the page. So you hear him talking about uh, conspiracy, international conspiracy, and local conspiracy. They don't see any crime in what Abakaire did because Abakaire have a better uh, uh, project than all this abakaire's mission was to to be you know to continue to commit jihad against the people uh, of uh, southern nigeria this, this this is not a call from our village uh, you know chief or you know <laughs> this fbi inviting you <laughs> so i don't think everybody will, will just want to do a drama and we you know this uh, you know the status of the uh, united states as a world police so you should go who doesn't have anything to hide in this cupboard? He <laughs> should go. Uh, that, uh, what what uh, you have to understand is that nobody is above the law. If we are faulty about the law, you have to face the consequences. Because in Nigeria, there are some laws who are not abiding. But you know, US follow procedure. So I think, uh, for my own opinion, you have to go there and uh, face uh, the accountants, and uh, others will learn from it. And to know that uh, our country is a place where you have to repair, not to steal or not to do evil things. That is my opinion. If the law says so, then it should be expected to the US and face the judgment. But if not, I think the Nigerian government should do something about it. Uh, I think uh, it depends on where the law it depends on where the case is uh, handling now. If it is handling in U.S., it should go and face it because it was the the, the, the comment was made from there, and he should go there and clarify himself. I think it should be better. Because coming to Nigeria, Nigeria is not where the case is being uh, handling. So 
I don't think of doing it in Nigeria is not if you go down there to face the the church. I think that would be better. Too many Nigerians are suffering from the loading they have taken from this country. So there's no need. Because they bring him back here, you see the same thing. They will not do they will not treat him to the law. But if they take him there, you face the judgment. So okay. you need to be you need to face the law over there, not here. <laughs> but Nigeria is so corrupt that if they bring him come here, problem with it. You see, Nigeria is so corrupt. Nigeria is so corrupt that if they bring him problem go day. <laughs> Nigeria is so corrupt that if they bring him problem go day. And this is the mindset of an average southerner, especially the sound one. Nigeria is so corrupt. <laughs> Different is so clear. Do you hear that? So you see. It is good, like this thing will be happening, we'll be getting this kind of videos, we'll use it to teach you. You see, the difference is so clear. Now let us watch. That's why I prefer they should do it here. You know, they should not bring it here. If, if he's guilty, it should be, it should be. If he's guilty, it should be. Uh, because Nigeria, they will cover, they will do cover up, they will cover everything up because you know there's corruption in Nigeria. They will back him up and everything will die just like that if he's guilty. So I think the best way, the best thing to take it is to take it to US. That would be the best <laughs> because Nigeria corruption is too much. Okay. And that is why we are suffering in this country. Okay. That's what I'm saying. Now, did you see that? Did you see that? Every person is talking about the Nigeria corruption. Everybody knows the truth. The only people that don't know the truth are those who are sick. Those who are sick and very, very sick. And I'm going to now play the video again to give you the faces of those who say they should do it in Nigeria. So that you can compare, you look at them, you know, you can assess them yourself to assess their mental status yourself and you know that there is a problem and any day they get healed they are going to think like others thank you victor chinazamu uh for your super chat we appreciate you Abakaire can't escape the prison calling on him exactly he cannot escape the prison now let us go back to the video now this is this is uh one of them who want uh who want uh you know who want them to handle it in nigeria <laughs> I want you to look at him. You see, when you look at him, you will know he's a southerner. He's a southerner, but then everything is not all right. You know, uh, look at him. You find out that uh, the most of the talk we are coming from Igbo, Igbo, from a ganja, ganja. This is a talk of ganja. So. Uh, you, you know, I want you to just pay attention to what he said, and I'm going to bring them so that you take. I want you to assess the person who say he must be in Nigeria because they are not okay mentally. The best way, the way that um, Hoshi Popi's case was handled. So I think since it is linked, it should also be handled that way. That's just my own opinion. Well, to me, it's not good. And secondly, I'm not a police officer, and people used to say. About Kiari happened to be one of the best police we ever have. And you know, anything's coming, anybody can be implicated. It may be truth, it may not be truth. That's all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Nigerian Shambhali can send the message back to SIB. Yes. Do you hear that? Nigeria should handle it. Now, Nigeria should handle it. Did you pay attention to that? Did you pay attention to that? <laughs> Did you pay attention to that? <laughs> you see, so oh, somebody said not ganja. All right, I don't know the one. I don't know the one now. Cigarette, okay, cigarette. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, now, now cigarette, now cigarette, they make people, person teeth be like this. 
can you people can you people educate me? <laughs> you see, this is our equivalent for in the southern Nigeria. This is our equivalent to Fulani. Equivalent to <laughs> this is our equivalent to, to Fulani. Did you see that? <laughs> somebody say, somebody say, Simon, did you notice the teeth? If I did not notice the teeth, uh, uh, that, that means I'm blind now. That's why the picture is showing. You know why I'm doing this? You know why I'm doing this? I'm doing this so that next time, next time when this kind of people, they, when they stop them on the road to give interview, <laughs> they, will they will think twice. <laughs> they will think twice, make a Make you know, make you know, enter Simon Epa. Make you know, enter Simon Epa program. <laughs> so, next time this man will get brain <laughs> to know that there is what there is international law. To know that uh, you know, in international law, if you commit uh, a wire fraud or or uh, cyber fraud, and the fraud is committed in a particular country, uh, the the country will come for you because the crime is committed in the territory of that country. And uh, it is only in cyber crime and other things like that that it happens. So the uh, the issue of uh, extradition of uh, ABBA, I don't know whether it is uh, extradition or so, but the extradition of ABBA Kairi has to do with the fact that the crime was committed in the United States while in Nigeria, while in Dubai, while in other places of Africa, the crime was committed in America because the money and the account was open in America and all that. So America is responsible. America is the jurisdiction where the crime was committed, but they don't know that. That is what they don't know. So this is the this is our equivalent of Fulani in Southern Nigeria. Of course, uh, in some cases, he will be very, very brainy, you know, you know, but this one passed him. This particular issue of uh, extradition to America, the reason why uh, the reason behind the extradition order or the arrest warrant order, he passed this man, so he don't know. Uh, but I just want to show you the the look of the person who say the Nigeria must handle it, so that you understand that what is holding Nigeria is doing what is holding him. Uh, he is looking just like Nigeria, so it's a reflection of Nigeria, and that is why he is not thinking straight. So. When you hear this kind of people, equate them to the Fulani in the north. Now, let us continue. I shall do and send the message back to you. The next person, the next person that said that Nigeria should handle it, we are coming to there. Here. Yes, thank you to uh, US because it is not the first stop. Yeah, it's not the first stop. Because taking it to the US, when we have Nigeria here that can handle the stuff, it's not really an advice uh, stuff to take it to the US. <laughs> I don't know whether. The stuff he is talking about. <laughs> I don't know whether the stuff is a. <laughs> I don't know whether the stuff this guy was talking about is the stuff of a. <laughs> or whether the stuff is the the Abakare has turned to stuff, or whether the stuff is is the one uh, is the conspiracy. Of the international conspiracy and the local cons conspiracy combined together is the stuff. We do not understand the stuff this man is talking about. But maybe next time the journalist will try to ask him the stuff, <laughs> whether it is the stuff or another stuff. <laughs> so, but I want you people to understand that in the southern Nigeria, everybody is sound. And anybody that think, you know, remember, this is not politics. When it comes to politics, we have our different opinions. That's why you have political parties and all that. We have our different opinions about politics. 
We have our different opinions about things, but this is not politics where you will say you have opinion. You know, this is an established law. Presidents, law that guide the universe, law that guide the country. This is as a matter of international law, international treaty, of which Nigeria is signatory to. This is about fraud, internet fraud. So it is not about politics, you know? So we don't know the stuff he's talking about. But however, I want you to pay a very close attention, you know, to this guy. You understand that everything is not okay. Everything is not okay with you know, he may be he may be well, but everything is not okay, and that is why you hear him talk like this. So he is not he is not in his best <laughs> he is not in his best state. But as you see him now, we this is the uh, uh, you know even with with this kind of thinking, he is still better than the Fulanese. Now let us continue. <laughs> Can be handled here proper because if we can, if we can understand the issue at hand, and thinking of how to amend this uh, country, you know, is a reason we handle such matter so that uh, uh, it can really start as a detail, an example to other cases that are arising in the nation. No, it's a best address. Yes, yeah, that's so that it can fix the law in U.S. Yeah, because there yeah, is them in uh, then the when the senior officers in Nigeria are involving in such crime like this, man, like, should be called to law, you understand, so I can face his charges. All right. You have just watched that. So what we are trying to say is that whenever you see anybody from the South, you know, uh, talking like this, it means that he is not fine. And again, from the opinion of people, you have seen how divided the whole thing is you have seen how the northerners are coming against the south because of abakaere and one thing that should interest you uh, is the uh, why abakaere is so important to the northern nigeria is because they are using him for jihad against our people they are using him for jihad against our people and we are going to end this broadcast here because we are coming again in the evening on this note thank you very much for watching Nigeria has collapsed, people have lost faith, faith in Nigeria, and people are losing their faith in Nigeria on daily basis. And we are winning. We are winning. We are winning. The, uh, uh, our barrister have uh, access to our leader. The British House Commission have access to our leader. We are winning. May God bless Biafra. May God bless the uh, Oduduwa Republic. May God bless the Middle Belt. May God bless Arewa, if they are going to accept my prayer. God bless you. God bless each one of you watching. Remember, Biafra is here. God bless ESN. God bless APUB Worldwide. God bless Mazin Amdikano. God bless Sunday Iwoho and Co. God bless.